Voice Flight President Scott Merritt sat me down to show me how to have a meaningful conversation with my Garmin 430W. This project started many years ago when I was flying around at Seneca and um, I became very annoyed with the difficulty of entering waypoints into the uh, 530 using the knobs because you have to constantly twist and I found on a complex flight plan going down to Florida I'd spend five minutes heads down dialing in the waypoints instead of flying the airplane and watching what was going on. From that was based, uh, was the, uh, the idea was born of actually entering the waypoints using speech. And uh, it sounded like a simple project at the time, but has turned out to be anything but. Um, and we've spent time, um, you know, developing the speech recognition specifically for the aircraft cockpit, because it's a very noisy environment, you have special requirements, also safety issues. So we developed some special speech recognition technology and actually patented some of the ideas behind it that allows it to recognize waypoints in the air and do it reliably and enter them into the 530 and 430. One of the uh, very special features of the voice flights is it actually allows you to put in Victor Airways. The voice flight unit itself adds airway support to the uh, 430 and I'll give you an example. Uh, we'll go from um, the Hartford VOR down to Florida on Victor 3. Hotel Foxtrot Delta enter. Victor 3 enter. Papa Bravo India enter. And if you'll see that the voice flight has automatically expanded Victor 3 all the way down to Palm Beach in Florida. And that saves an immense amount of time from putting them in manually. The voice flight unit itself, which is shown in here, is a, basically a 3 by 5 by 1 inch unit that weighs less than a pound that can be blind mounted behind the panel. It doesn't require any panel space at all. So the unit itself is, is little more than a deck of cards. And that's what needs to be installed and that's where the intelligence of the unit is. On the panel itself, um, the only thing that's really required is a, uh, a circuit breaker for the voice flight. Um, there's a USB jack that's used to load uh, software updates or navigation updates, but that can be put in the maintenance area. It doesn't actually have to be on the panel. We connect directly into the pilot uh, microphone and we feed the audio uh, feedback through the uh, audio system. But if the switch is not pushed, the voice flight unit won't make any changes to the GPS and also won't provide any audio feedback. So if, um, if an operation is interrupted by a call from ATC, you simply let go of the switch and you can hear what's going on. Voice flight has been tested with many different pilots with different voices and accents. I wanted to test voice flight's resistance to idiots like me. Lima, uniform, kilo, x-ray, alpha, enter. Kilo, mic, mic, enter, uniform, enter. Wow, so it, it picked up... Uh, yeah, it's uh, picked it up. Fast, slow, trying to mumble one. Let me try and add one more. Tango, Oscar, November, Yankee, Alpha, Enter. Ah, ah, finally. Tango, Oscar, November, Alpha, November, Yankee, Alpha, Enter. Yeah, you, you okay. stopped in the middle and re restarted, but it got Okay, it. so, and then to erase that, I would... Just erase waypoint. Erase waypoint. Ah, okay, okay. Merritt shared an exclusive sneak peek at a new Apple iPad application that takes advantage of ForeFlight's ability to decipher rapid speech, allowing users to download directly from flight planning software such as ForeFlight. So we'll put in a flight plan. This is from South Albany Airport down to uh, Florence, South Carolina. We'll bring that flight plan over here. If we press the map button, ForeFlight brings up a nice map showing our course, and it also brings up the flight plan up there in the, uh, in the upper box. If I highlight that and select it and copy it, I've now moved that flight plan into the pasteboard. If I then go and bring up voice flights connected talker, you can see the flight plan that was there. If I simply connect our special audio cable from the iPad to the pilot microphone jack, the actual transfer occurs using audio. So the, the Voice Flight Connected Talker program is simply translating those waypoints into speech. And if I pull out the audio jack, you can actually hear the translation when I play it. As you can see, it's doing text-to-speech, but it's doing it at an extremely high rate, and it's taking advantage of the excellent recognition speed of the voice flight unit to transfer those waypoints directly into the 530 from your iPad. The suggested list price of the voice flight unit itself is $1,995, $1,995. Um, the installation, it varies on how difficult it is to, uh, to get to the back of the GPS rack. That's the primary problem is 
is getting to the back of the rack where the GPS connections are. There's actually only uh, maybe 14 wires. I think you might be able to see it. There's 14 wires that have to get connected. But actually getting to the back of the GPS to, to run those wires is, is the hard part. Direct Charlie Lima Tango, activate. Confirm Charlie Lima Tango, direct. This is Jim Moore for AOPA Live. There it is. Right to it.